Last week, I unboxed a $500,000 mystery sneaker box and it was loaded with heat. And there were definitely a ton of sneakers that caught my eye. This is a shoe that I don't have. They're messing with my emotions right now. Size 12 and a half. <laughs> what size are these things? Oh my gosh. And as promised, I ended up purchasing a pair of shoes from the mystery box. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys which pair of shoes I got. So let's take it to the studio so we can do this unboxing. Now some of you guys may be able to tell which pair of shoes this is just by the box if you saw the 500K video. But either way, I feel like this shoe deserves a full in-depth review. So I gotta make sure I show you guys all the details on this sneaker. Starting with the box right here, you have a shiny white box with the white lid and the white bottom. On the size tag, it reads LV flash sneaker this is the blue colorway and retail on these things was twenty seven hundred and fifty dollars now lifting off the lid of the box right here you have another box inside of the white box and this is a brown box and on this brown box as you can see you have a louis vuitton monogram print kind of embossed all throughout the box i've done reviews in the past with louis vuitton air force ones at untied but never here at home because I didn't have a pair for myself. So I'm excited to give you guys this review and show you this new addition to my collection. You have a lift off lid right here. There's a little flap on both sides and then you can pull this up just like this. And then let me turn it around for you guys so you can see. On this side, on the top of the lid right here, on the inside of the box, you have a big white Nike swoosh. And before we actually get to the sneaker, there's a lot of goodies on the inside of that as well. So you have a Louis Vuitton strap that goes around the box as well and has a handle and this is adjustable. You have two sets of laces, a white set and a blue set right here. And on the end of the laces, it says lace set and black on the white pair. And then you have white lace set on the blue pair. Now inside this Ziploc bag right here, you have another little tab. It's just like a bag tag. On the back end right here, you have your Louis Vuitton with the monogram in the brown, classic, and then on the front end right here, turn it sideways, you can see it says Louis Vuitton Air with the Nike swoosh right here, and then that same monogram print on this side. And to go alongside with that, you have a Nike swoosh in a white leather piece right here, and you can actually stick this inside of the bag tag slip, and then put this around the swoosh, and I don't think anybody's actually gonna wear this on their sneakers or actually even put this on their bag, but it kind of gives you that off-white vibe as well with the zip ties and then giving you that bag tag look. Somebody might do this, might not, I don't know. For me personally, I think it's just a cool accessory and a nice touch to the shoe. Now right here, as you may have seen before, you have two white dust bags as well. And on the bottom of those two dust bags, you have the Louis Vuitton Air in black right here on the white leather tabs on the bottom end right here. And this dust bag is really, really thick, really, really nice. Uh, hopefully the detailed shots will give you guys a better look at these two but they did a really good job. This is definitely a lot more premium than your typical dust bag if you were to get it with a different pair of shoes. Now these come standard with some white paper and there's actually a lot of white paper when it comes to this shoe. Yo, 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 by the way, stick around to the end of the video for all the details. We're doing a huge giveaway, ICA Air Force Ones and Orange Lobsters. Let's get back to the review. And peeling back that right there, now you got the shoe. Oh, you got the shoe. Now normally during this part of the review, I'm giving you guys my first impressions, but everybody knows I have already seen this sneaker. I've already tried them on and walked around the house in them, and I love them. So now in typical fashion, before we start breaking down this sneaker, we gotta talk about the history first. Virgil Abloh was a legend in so many ways. He dominated as a DJ and had a huge impact on the streetwear and high fashion world. Everybody remembers seeing their original 10 collaboration of Nike and Off-White and the off-white Chicago ones in particular could potentially be slated as some of the best collaboration sneakers of all time. After the crazy buzz of the original 10, Virgil continued to drop banger after banger with different models and colorways over the years, and eventually he got his foot in the door with Louis Vuitton and it changed the game. Before we saw the Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones, there were a lot of amazing pieces that he came out with when it came to other sneakers, clothing, and bags and accessories. You name it, his collections were fire. During this time, they were working on a project to release the Louis Vuitton Air Force one, we saw the Sotheby's auction and then these pairs came to retail streets and everybody went crazy for these specific models. But before all this madness, we found out that Virgil was sick and he ended up passing away. And because of that, we all know just like another artist, rapper, you name it, Typically, if somebody passes away and they have such a huge impact on their community or culture, their items naturally go up in value. Now, I'm not here to say that's a good or a bad thing because that's a whole nother debate, but either way, it created a whole nother demand when it comes to the Louis Vuitton Air Force One. So with me being a fan of Virgil, Nike, and Louis Vuitton, and seeing everything come together, and after his passing, RIP a legend, this collaboration is definitely something that I felt like I had to get in my collection. 
but the only problem was they're really hard to find in my size. They're always gonna be available in smaller sizes, usually 11 and down. I'm a size 13. We all know Air Forces run a little bit big. So to see a 12 and a half pop up and knowing that Untied had a pair and they put them in the mystery box curated just for me, I had a feeling this was a time I had to pull the trigger on this shoe. So now that you guys know a little bit of history about this sneaker, and trust me, it is a very rich history with a lot more information to be provided. And I would love to give you guys a whole nother video someday if you guys wanna see it. But either way, let's go ahead and start breaking down this sneaker and show you all the cool details because there are a lot. I'm talking about inside and out. There are literally so many different details that hopefully make you guys understand why this shoe is worth so much. Starting with the bottom of the shoe, you have your classic Air Force One outsole, all royal blue right here with your Nike in the center of it. Now wrapping up to the midsole right here, you got an all white midsole with your classic Air branding on the back end. And just above that to the right, you have your Air in quotes, just like you would see on a Nike Air Force One off-white collab from the past. Now going to the upper, you have two different types of leather. So when you see the blue, that's gonna be one style. And then when you see the white areas, that's gonna be another style. So looking around the vamp area and on the toe, you have a blue leather with more of a navy blue monogram print inside of that. And if you look at the top of the toe, you have a white embossed leather with the Louis Vuitton monogram print on there. One thing that I love about these, the green and the red pair, the color blocking is so simple. And honestly, all three of them are super dope. And I have a hard time picking which colorway I like the most. Also, by the way, if you guys want to see the previous reviews of the green or the red pair, I'll have those linked for you guys down below in the description as well. I did those in the past. Now, looking at the details on the swoosh right here, you have that same blue leather with the navy branding on the inside of that. And then you have your zigzag classic to the off-white Air Force One vibe. And then a line green leather tab on the back end now looking at the heel area of the shoe you have louis vuitton paris and gold and that's going to be on the back end on both of the sneakers and then on the inside of the foot you have that same gold hit louis vuitton for nike nike air force one beaverton oregon 1982 i think on the inside of the left foot it looks a little bit better i'll show you guys shots of both feet so you can see it a little bit more because obviously the angle is a little bit different based off of the swoosh placement but either way they both say the same thing and it's definitely a nice touch and that same classic hit that we see on all off-white Nike collaboration. Now going to the tongue, you have a white embossed Louis Vuitton monogram print leather right here. And then I got to take this little styrofoam piece off. That's a little protector that goes over the tongue area. You have these another pair of standard white laces and on the tips it says lace set in black. And then on the end of the tongue right here on the top end, you have your Louis Vuitton Air and the blue patch with the white print. And then on the back side, it's all gold and it has the size of the sneaker. Now going to the inside of the sock liner, you have a premium, I'll say premium. These are really, really nice when it comes to the mesh on the back end of the tongue and on the inside of the sock liner all white mesh, and then on the actual insoles, another dope detail, I have to pull this out and show you guys what I'm talking about. You have an all white insole, you have the Nike, the Louis Vuitton on the back end on the heel, and if you flip it over, you have Louis Vuitton Paris embossed just like you see that same logo on the back end around the heel area, this is at the bottom underneath the insole on the heel as well. And to make things even doper, there's actually a print on the inside of the bottom of the shoe and you have an all over monogram print with the gray branding all inside of that. So the details, like I said, inside and out, each and every part of this shoe, literally everything on this shoe is just premium and super nice. The only thing I might be able to say they could have done is potentially doing like a gold lace tip on the end of the laces right here instead of having your standard plastic end. But either way, I'm not complaining. I still love the shoe. So now that you guys have seen full in-depth shots of this sneaker, let me know what you guys think about them down below in the comment section. We gotta take it back to the office so I can explain the giveaway for you guys as well. You guys made it to the end of the video and now it is time for the giveaway details. All you guys need to do is click on the link down below in the description or pinned in the comment section and that'll give you guys everything you need to know. Simply sign up and you're good to go. The winner will be announced at the end of the month. Good luck to everybody. And if you haven't seen the $500,000 mystery box video yet, what are you doing, bro? I made sure I linked it for you at the end of this video so you can go check that out. See you guys in another one. I would never let you down. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. Listen, my DNA, hey, the only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. Oh!
I would never let you down, it's in my DNA The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I was made for it, it's in the DNA I was made for it, it's in the DNA